The PM Benchmark RAR software is a digital reading assessment resource for identifying student instructional or independent reading levels using fiction and non-fiction texts. Accessible on any device, the software enables teachers to store school-wide data in one place, making it easy to get a snapshot of student reading assessment results. The resources allow teachers to identify the skills and strategies students use when reading unseen and meaningful texts, to assess students' fluency and phrasing when they read aloud, to assess student retelling strategies, and to determine student comprehension within and beyond the text. Okay, so today, Maggie, I'm going to get you to read this book, The Big Bike, and, we, and I'm going to do a running record. So this book is called The Big Bike, and this is a story about Zach and Tim, and Zach wants to ride Tim's big bike. So let's have a quick look through at the pictures. So here's the bike. Before starting the assessment, choose a quiet area free from distractions and clearly explain to the student what is going to happen and why. Read the book title and the orientation to the student. The text used here is The Big Bike, a PM Yellow Level 7 title. You have a read through the story silently to yourself. Then I want you to, to retell the story to me. I want you to tell me the main things that happen in the story. Got that in? Away you go, Maggie. Good girl. Tell me as much as you can, in your own words, about what you've just read. The first part is when Tim, um, I mean, Zach wanted to um, ride mm -hmm. Tim's bike. Very good. Keep going now. The teacher reminds the student to look carefully at the pictures in the book. Making connections between the text and illustrations is an important reading strategy. It kept going and he still asked and then he said, can you help me ride my bike? And then he, he rided his bike and then that ended. And then he kept riding his bike and then it ended. Very good, excellent. And how did it end? Um, what what bike was were, were people then able to ride? The big bike. Who then was able to ride the big bike? Zach. Very good. Okay, so now what's going to happen is I'm going to ask you to read the story to me and I'm going to take your running record. Could you start reading for me, please? Tim went up and down the pass on his big bike. Zach sat on the grass and looked at Tim. Good reading, good girl. Can I ride your big bike? said Zach. No, Zach, said Tim. My bike is too big for you. You can ride your bike. Zach looked at his little bike and looked and he looked back at Tim's big bike. Zach said to Tim, you can help me ride my bike. You can what? What? Good girl. Walk. And yeah, walk. Walk with me. Tim got off his bike. I will 
help you, Zach, he said. Zach went down the path on the big bike. Tim went down the path. path Zach. Look at me, Tim said. Um, shouted. Shouted, Zach. I can ride your big bike. That was excellent. Very, very good reading. Now I'm going to ask you some questions about your reading and I want you to tell me the answer as clearly as you can. Once the reading record is complete, the teacher asks the student some questions about the book. To ensure the student has understood the text, a series of literal, inferential and applied knowledge comprehension questions are asked. Who did the big bike belong to? Good girl, leave that one. Where did Tim ride his bike? At the park. Good girl. Why didn't Tim want Zach to ride his bike? Because it was too big for him. Why do you think Tim had a big bike? Because he was older than Zach. How did Tim help Zach learn to ride the big bike? By helping him. How did he help him? By, um, by giving him instructions. Very good. That was excellent. Reading records provide a systematic procedure for observing students' reading behaviour. The information gained provides an accurate assessment of how students process continuous text, as well as identifying the students' strengths and weaknesses. So we're now moving on to look at the strategies that the child used as they read. In this instance, the child definitely had their concepts about print well established. The child recognised the high frequency words and they applied knowledge of letter sound relationships to accurately decode some of the words. The student um, is beginning to process the text. At this point the child did um, adjust pace. The child was attending to meaning because they went back and were, were prepared to self-correct. They cross-checked to confirm meaning. They were able to predict what was happening within the text. The child was searching for print details and the child was also self-correcting. However, in a number of instances, the child didn't self-correct. So I, I will leave that one blank as I think there's teaching to be done in the self-correcting area. Now I'm thinking about the child's reading behaviours in terms of fluency. Did the child read the text consistently with natural rhythm and phrasing, reflecting a depth of understanding? Did the child read some of the text with a natural rhythm and phrasing, reflecting understanding? Read the, te the text with irregular phrasing and reflecting limited understanding? read the text word by word, reflecting limited or no understanding. I believe that fluency and phrasing is something that could be worked on to move this child along as a reader. And I really believe that the child used irregular phrasing. So I'm going to select irregular phrasing. And now I'm given the summary of the running record.